Imagine you're trying to generate random samples from this complex probability distribution that has multiple peaks and valleys. But here's the problem. You can't directly sample from it because it's too complicated. And to make matters worse, you don't even know its normalizing constant, that value z that makes all the probabilities properly sum to 1 when you integrate from negative infinity to infinity. So you have this probability distribution p of x that equals f of x divided by z, where f of x is the function you can actually compute. You know its shape and can evaluate it at any point. But z, this normalizing constant, requires computing an integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx. And for most real world distributions, this integral is either impossible to solve analytically or computationally expensive beyond reason, which happens constantly in Bayesian statistics and physics simulations. Now, here's the brilliant idea that makes accept-reject sampling work. Instead of fighting with this difficult distribution directly, we're going to use a simpler distribution, g of x, that we already know how to sample from, like a normal distribution. And the only requirements are that g covers the same domain as our target and that we can easily generate samples from it. But we need one more ingredient. We have to scale up our proposal distribution, g by some constant m, creating m times g of x. And we choose m large enough so that this scaled version completely envelops our target function f of x everywhere, meaning m times g of x must be greater than or equal to f of x for all possible x values, essentially creating a probabilistic ceiling above our target. Once we have this envelope set up, the algorithm is beautifully simple and consists of just two steps that we repeat. First, we generate a sample x from our proposal distribution g, which is easy because we chose g specifically to be simple to sample from, and second, we accept this sample with probability equal to f of x divided by m times g of x. And if we reject it, we just try again with a new sample. Now let me show you why this actually gives us samples from our target distribution p, and we'll use Bayes' theorem to prove it mathematically. Because the probability of x given that we accepted it equals the probability of accepting given x times g of x all divided by the probability of accepting. And when we substitute our acceptance, probability f of x over mg of x, the g's cancel. And after working through the algebra with the acceptance probability being z over m, everything simplifies beautifully to f of x divided by z, which is exactly our target distribution p of x. But the real magic, the intuition that makes this all click is understanding what that ratio f over g fundamentally represents. Because when f over g is high at some point, it means that point is very likely in our target distribution, but rarely proposed by g. So when g does propose it, we absolutely must accept it because we might not see it again for a long time. It's like finding a rare gem that we can't afford to throw away. And conversely, when f over g is low, it means g keeps proposing this point over and over, but it's actually uncommon in our target, so we should usually reject it to avoid oversampling that region. This method has a beautiful geometric interpretation where you can think of it as throwing darts uniformly under the envelope m times g and keeping only those darts that land below the curve f. And remarkably, the kept darts follow the distribution of f exactly, not approximately, but exactly, which is why this method is so powerful. The efficiency of accept-reject sampling depends critically on how well your proposal matches your target. Because if g closely matches the shape of f, then m can be small and most of your samples get accepted, making the algorithm fast and efficient. But if g is a poor match, like trying to use a simple normal distribution for something with a sharp spike or heavy tail, then m needs to be huge to cover everything. Your acceptance rate plummets to near zero, and you'll spend forever rejecting samples and waiting for accepts. And that's basically it for this video. 
please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to be up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.